what kind of nutritional food and nutrition elements uh, are required and should be given to food to dog. question about uh, whether the chocolates are harmful for dogs yeah, yeah. you should not uh, give chocolates to dogs there's a uh, uh, this thing called theobromine in chocolates which is not uh, which is poisonous for dogs uh, and also grapes grapes and grape products uh, like raisins and everything you should not be giving to dogs as far as i am concerned giving anything else is okay uh, most of the there's always a dispute between not giving them milk and not giving them egg, don't give them egg, give ghostly. But uh, we, I think uh, in our generation where there was no pet food available, so our dogs and cats have raised on the milk and roti only. So not giving them milk doesn't make sense to me. But 100% no, no chocolates and no grapes. All right, there's a question by Aarti Bhatia. Uh, hi, ma'am. Uh, uh, thank you for this session and the team. Uh, my question is uh, regarding like I'm uh, I've been into rescue work since more than three years now. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm from Lucknow, and I help the streeties over here. So like Parvo, Distemper, and all these cases mm -hmm. we have handled. Mm -hmm. Okay, my question is regarding mange. Okay, it's so, like we get to see a lot of uh, streeties, the community dogs who have severe mange uh, infection on their skin. Mm -hmm. Now wherever we see them, there's a lot of kachra garbage over there. Mm -hmm. So, I want to know is how much is this garbage damaging over them? Like, I think it's causing a lot of damage because people are accumulating all the waste and just throwing it in the open. Even we have municipal corporations coming and collecting trash, but still, people are not that civilized enough to uh, dispose of their waste in a proper manner. Mm -hmm. But this. This rescue work, which I believe is like a, it's it's like a circle, if you say, it's like a vicious circle. You keep on treating, then you see injured dogs, then again you keep on treating. So it is like somehow I feel waste of money and effort also because people are not willing to understand. Mm -hmm. So how, especially for mange, like uh, what can we do? Like how can we create some awareness? See, mange, awareness is mange is generally uh, transmitted mostly through dogs to dogs. So, uh, getting rid of it is a bit difficult and awareness is also not going to be there. Only thing is, no, I don't think anything can, anything can be done about awareness uh, for mange because it's an actually transmittable disease. No, so, not for me. Like, um, for disposing of uh, people behave in a little uh, civilized way, okay. dispose of their trash okay. properly and all where they understand that animals are also there in the society they do exist and because this causes a lot of uh, sickness in them see uh, there is one thing that i want, want to discuss here is <clears throat> so basically uh, there is this lot of cases where people don't understand animals and we being a rescuer we feel we understand understand them better uh, so yeah uh, the uh, you know uh, disposing of the garbage that is another thing but i would say there are people who dispose of the puppies also when they are you know when the mother gives birth uh, you know when the mother is littered in the society or something like that but you know there is a very gentle way to um, explain this thing to uh, this things to the people is uh, what i believe is and what we understand is that dog behavior is, is such that you know when the mother when the mother when the female is not healthy enough you know the female is not healthy enough or the female is a little bit malnourished or uh, she she you know she can't take care of the puppies all by herself so that is the time where she comes for the help from the human beings we being the most intelligent animal in this planet you know they understand it they know there are some feeders here who you know give us food here who would you know who take care of my puppies if anything happens to me they are the one who is going to take care of the puppies so they come here seeking help and what people do is, you know, the few people who do not understand it, 
they would want to get rid of them so same goes for the garbage disposal like this i think we should start all by ourselves in this sense i'm not telling you to go and collect garbages from the people's house but what we can do is whenever we feed dogs you know whenever we are giving the food you know uh, make sure uh, you have a bowl keep them in the bowl keep the environment clean so when you you know step forward when you start doing it by yourself then people will take the initiative and try to do something you know we can't just ex- you know we can't just expect people to you know care about the environment certainly care about the dogs certainly care about the animals and basically what i think is it's good for the human beings also to throw in the garbage like that let uh, aside be the dogs but then otherwise human also if they don't understand that that is not good for human beings also what are they going to understand that it is not going to be good for dogs that is a main that is has to come from within and uh, education is the most important thing it's not going to go like that thing educating people about putting the garbage and everything is all fine but they should understand themselves that this is not to be done educating doesn't help it it's they have to everyone knows the garbage is bad so there everyone's human cells also and all cells also everything it means if people keep on doing it Kaha Sintam, how, how do we all start aware of this about these things? Um, there's a question by Arka What kind of nutritional food and nutrition elements uh, are required and should be given through food to dogs? And what should not be given to them? I mean, you mentioned chocolate should not be given, but what would be other things? As I said, chocolates and grapes are not to be given. Yes. nutrition if you are going to give them non veg uh, or you are going to give them a veg you have to research from the beginning uh, where you want to put, put a dog on the veg diet or non veg diet usko non veg diet pe rakh do aur fir then after 6 months you decide suddenly i want the poor pet to be put on the veg diet nahi hoga whatever you want to put them uh, give them a habit from the beginning as a puppy you give them a habit if you are giving them a veg diet you need to give them a varied uh, diet it's it will be a uh, combination of proteins it should be combined for carbohydrate fiber everything veg mein uh, non veg mein kya hota hai protein uh, chicken mein se mil jata hai to so, veg mein itna protein nahi milta so you need to have a no combination of uh, say if you are going to make a roti or something make a uh, roti or jawar bajra uh, various pulses make a atta out of that give them a roti and dal or something dahi mix with with dahi or something like that egg is fine boiled egg or uh, egg and rice is fine you can give them all these things uh, but uh, veg may you can give them fruits also as i said except uh, grapes you can give them too you can give them oats fruits fruits seasonal fruits all are okay this is my personal opinion of course uh, again there be uh, every vet will have their own opinions but as far as my my i have got seven dogs and they all eat all eat everything even they make big food sweeted at our place they eat sweet sauce so kabhi shrikhand aur puri banta hai to shrikhand aur puri bhi wo khate hai to it's they haven't had any uh, skin issues nay neither they have uh, got any gut issues or nothing like that so they can have everything little of everything we are not, we don't eat sweets every day in this thing once in a month or something eat sweets so udhar ab unko de diya to kuch farak nahi padta so is sugar harmful for them not exactly but sugar harmful means one of my clients um wo to uh, chasni banati thi uske uh, spits ke liye every day the pet will have uh, sugar ka syrup roti that is going to be bad of course yeah uske sabhi na khata hi nahi so every day sugar syrup was made for him and he would have it with roti so that should, that is an extreme but otherwise once in a while once in a month once in 15 days so. 